Hello, and welcome to this video on setting up a local environment for developing extensions. My name is Keisha Rose, and I'm a product manager on the Tableau Developer Platform team. In this video, I'll show you how to get set up to start building dashboard extensions. To learn how to actually build an extension, take a look at one of our other walkthrough videos. In this video, we're going to be using HTTP Server, a simple node package for serving static files. This is the very bare minimum of what you'll need to get started with extensions. And we won't be going over other complex setups like those for building server-side extensions. So here's what you're going to need to get started. The first thing you need to develop an extension is an extensions-enabled version of Tableau. You can get access to a developer sandbox site for free by signing up for the developer program linked in the description. You can also develop extensions using Tableau Desktop versions 2018.2 and higher. I'll be using a free developer sandbox in this video. Next, you will need a text editor. This can be a simple, lightweight editor or a full-on IDE, whatever you prefer. I'll be using Visual Studio Code, but feel free to use your favorite tool like Sublime, Brackets, or Notepad++. If you are downloading Visual Studio Code, I suggest checking the boxes in the installation to add Open with Code to your context menu. This will make it easier for you to edit your files later on. Then, you're going to need a way to host your extension. Like I mentioned, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up HTTP Server, a lightweight command line server that just serves static files, like your extension. In order to use this, you will need to have Node installed. And when you install Node, make sure you keep NPM as part of the installation. Don't worry, it's on by default. We're going to need this to install the HTTP server package. For debugging your extension, you will need to have Chrome or a special build of Chromium installed, depending on what version of Tableau you're using. If you're using the online sandbox, or Tableau Desktop 2019.1, you can simply debug in the regular Chrome browser. If you're using Tableau Desktop 2018.2 or 2018.3, you'll need to download a specific build of Chromium in order to debug. The experience is pretty much the same, so I'll be going over it in the video, but the link for the downloads for Chromium can be found in the description as well as instructions on how to get it running. Lastly, you will need to have, of course, the latest Extensions API library, and also a sample manifest file that you can edit for your extension. You can find the links to download these in the video description. So go ahead, take a moment to pause the video, download and install the required tool, but don't worry about setting up HTTP server. Just get Node installed. We'll go over the setup. Okay. Now that you've got everything installed, you did install everything, right? Let's get you set up for developing extensions. First thing we need to do is create a folder to work in. This is where you're going to keep all of your extension work. So I'm just going to make a folder on the desktop here for my extension. And I'm also going to bring in the files that we downloaded. That's the manifest sample file. It ends in .trex and the extensions library. So I'll bring these in from my downloads into my extension folder. Now, if you installed Visual Studio Code and you check the boxes in the installation to add open with code to your context menus, you can simply right click in this folder and open it with code. Otherwise, you can just open Visual Studio Code manually, and you can navigate to this folder from the file menu. Okay, so let's go ahead and create an index file. So just index.html. And let's just get set with the basics for an HTML page. So I'll add an HTML tag. I'll add a head tag. So just add a title to for my extension. Let's also add a body. And in here, let's just put some text. 
saying hello. So we can test it out later. Really simple, basic HTML structure. Of course, you can also use the automated uh, scaffolding from Visual Studio Code to get it set up, but very simple. Now, let's make sure we add the extensions API library. So I'll add in a new script tag. And we're going to bring in that Tableau extensions one that latest minified library. And this will make sure we can actually communicate with the dashboard and have that two-way communication. So I'll go ahead and save this. And now that we have the basics of the web page, let's get the HTTP server up and running. So let's go ahead and minimize this for now. And we're going to open a command prompt right in this extension folder. Um, on some machines, you'll be able to do this simply by holding Shift and right-click, and you can open a command window right there. Um, if not, you can just go to your Start menu and search for Command Prompt and navigate to that folder. Next, we're going to install the package HTTP Server, and we want to make sure we're installing this globally. So I'm going to go ahead and type in npm install HTTP dash server and dash G, don't forget the dash G, to make it a global install. I'll go ahead and let that run. Great. And once we're here, let's go ahead and just run it. So HTTP dash server, the simplest way. And there we go. If everything went right for you, you should see um, the, the URL with the port at the end that it is running on. So let's go ahead and just check that our server is actually running and serving our index file by opening up Chrome, and we're going to go to localhost with this port 8080. And there we go. Awesome. So we know that we are actually serving the files at localhost on port 8080. We are good to go. We can keep on checking. So now that we know that the server is up and running, let's get you set up with the manifest file to link to this page. So go ahead and find that manifest file that you downloaded. It should be myawesomeextension.trex. And again, if you installed Visual Studio Code with those context menus, you can just right-click on it and open with code. And here, we're going to just replace the blank or the, the placeholder URL with HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8080. One thing to note is that localhost is the only URL that you can use um, HTTP with. Everything else needs to be HTTPS. Feel free to edit any of the other information in this T-Rex file, like your name or the description, but that's all we need for now. So go ahead and save that, and we're good to go. Now we're ready to test our extension. Now, if you're using desktop to build your extension, now would be a good time to pause the video and take a look at our Getting Started Guide to get set up with the debugger. If you're using the Sandbox site like we are in this video, the debugger will already be available for you in the console. Okay, so let's go ahead and open a sample workbook in the Sandbox site to test our extension. I'm already logged into the Sandbox site already. And I'm just going to choose one of these sample workbooks. Any of these dashboards will be fine as long as it's a dashboard. And we can just hit Edit to open the web authoring window. Then we can drag in our extension. As you can see, it's very similar to the desktop experience. You'll find the extension object in this same location. Just go ahead and drag that in. Then I can choose to open up my extension. I'm already in my extensions folder. I'll just grab my awesome extension.trex file. And you'll see that it's asking if I want to allow this extension to run. Yep, I do. I hit OK. And one thing to note is that we are using um, localhost on HTTP, like I mentioned before. So you might get this warning in your address bar, and you still load unsafe scripts. 
So go ahead and refresh that again. Hit allow. And there we go. Good to go. Now, in order to debug our extension, we can simply open the debugging panel by pressing F12. From here, we can go to the console. And this is where you're going to find any bugs or errors that are happening in Tableau. And you can also log out any tests here as well. Just as a test, let's log something to the console from our extension. So I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code and back to our index file. And I'm just going to add a little script line here in the body. And we can just console log. Woohoo! Go ahead and save it. Go back to our sandbox and refresh. Go ahead and click OK. And here we go. Woohoo! And that's it. You're all set to get started developing extensions. This has been Keisha Rose from the Tableau Developer Platform Team, and I can't wait to see what you guys build.